I'm Eric Greitens, Navy SEAL, and today we're going rhino hunting. Join the MAGA crew, get a rhino hunting permit. There's no bagging limit, no tagging limit, and it doesn't expire until we save our country. That's a cut from the front runner for U.S. Senate in Missouri. Disgraced ex-governor Eric Greitens left office in a sex scandal. Now he is likely to win the Republican nomination for Senate and given the state's voting pattern, the general election as well. Just this weekend, firebrand populists heckled a rock war veteran and Republican Congressman Dan Crenshaw with a nickname coined by Tucker Carlson. I passed McCain. Hey, I passed McCain. Look at I passed McCain right here. You're a rhino. You're a globalist. You're a globalist rhino. This is five dollars here, and you're giving Ukraine all this money on red flag laws too, Dan. That's ridiculous. Crenshaw is a sellout. Just because he has R by his name does not make him a good person. It's kind of a mirror image, right? Of Democratic problems. The fringe of the Republican Party controls much of the grassroots organizing and small dollar fundraising. Now GOP candidates must also answer for the craziest among them. George Will, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist, News Nation senior political contributor, uh, is here. Is this gonna be a problem for Republicans in November? <laughs> Leland, never underestimate the ability of Republicans to make the least of a good situation. Let's take a brief stroll down memory lane. In 2010, the Republican Senate nominee in Delaware, having dabbled in witchcraft, ran an ad with the most memorable line of all time. It began, I am not a witch. Also in 2010, in Nevada, where the Republicans had a shot at defeating the Senate, Republic, the Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid, they nominated someone who said, part of our solution to our problems in America should be Second Amendment solutions, meaning gunfire. Two years later in Indiana, Richard Murdoch said that a girl, teenage, 13, 15-year-old, raped and impregnated by her father, well, the child was God's will. And of course, then there was in, back to Missouri, where they <laughs> keep making news. They, they had uh, Todd Aiken, who said that he had been told by someone that a, if a woman is the victim of a legitimate rape, she could not get pregnant. Now. You nominate people like that, you're going to have trouble winning seats. Bigger question, though, and no doubt that the, the problem children of the Republican Party have cost them the majorities when they were seem certain. Is there a real divide in the Republican Party between MAGA, MAGA crazy, and the Mitch McConnell folks, for lack of a better term, because there is no Mitch McConnell crazy? I think that's right. I think the problem for Republican candidates is this. A lot of them don't like Trump. They're not Trumpers, but they're frightened. And looking frightened, they look weak. And looking weak, they look scared. And it's very hard to present yourself as someone who promises real leadership if you're frightened, weak, and scared. Uh, again, it's not the case hmm. that people believe what they're doing. They are trying to avoid some sulfuric tweet from mar -Lago. And that's very difficult to do. And add on to that, you, there comes a point, Leland, at which people begin to look delusional when they won't say who won the 2020 election. Oh, well, they're already doing that in Texas. That's where the Dan Crenshaw uh, heckling happened. There, it's one thing to lose the individual election, as, they do, as the people you talked about in Delaware uh, as they did uh, in Nevada. Now we return to my home state of Missouri, where we have an interesting history. Uh, every Republican was forced to answer for Todd Akin. He became the issue. Legitimate rape was not only on the ballot in Missouri, it was on the ballot around the country. It hurt Mitt Romney. Uh, interestingly enough, just today, Fox News talking to J.D. Vance, running for Senate in Ohio, about Eric Greitens' ad. Take a listen. I'm not going to comment on the Missouri race because it's not my race and it's not my state. Uh, but I, I, I'm not He's surprised. He's going into a house like with that. a gun and saying they want to bag as many rhinos as they possibly can. Do you think that's a good place to go, given all the violence that we are seeing in the country right now? Look, like I said, good friend, friend, uh, good friend, uh, a friend of Josh Hawley. I don't think Eric Greitens is saying that he wants to murder a bunch of people. I think it's clearly a television advertisement meant for effect. We should take it like that. 
that you may get away with that answer on Fox News. You do not get away with that on NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, or MSNBC. Well, that's absolutely right. The, the, the media is not, surprise, surprise, even handed about this. No one is going to ask every Democratic candidate whether it agrees with the fact that eighth, eighth graders should be punished at school for using an inappropriate pronoun in conversation with another student. Every Republican is going to be asked if they agree with X, Y, and Z, who makes some lunatic statement. That's life. That's the playing field on which Republicans operate, and they just have to act accordingly. But they ought to understand and be prepared, as I think Vance vaguely was, to deal with this one-sided treatment by the media. Who, who ends up winning this war between firebrand MAGA and the genteel conservative Mitch McConnell wing that appeared to be taking over uh, from Donald Trump in the form of Ron DeSantis, perhaps? Leland is too soon to say, but I do think that, it, it, that we're going to see as the election approaches and people get serious after Labor Day. I know that's a ways away, but after Labor Day, people are going to say, gosh, we have troubles. We have problems with the currency is being devalued by inflation. There's a war in Europe where they're dismantling a nation with uh, tanks and howitzers. Maybe we have bigger things to worry about than pronouns. And I think that people are apt to, at this point to say, let's get serious and elect serious people. Well, we, we will see in Missouri. Um, I'm hesitant to wonder if anyone could ever call Eric Greitens a serious <laughs> person, but we'll see about my, what my kinfolk do. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Will, as always. Thank you, sir. Glad to Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.